What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the Modern King. Let's get straight into it. A lawsuit was filed before me to see if the child support needs to be adjusted. She want more money? Are you paid a salary? I am, yes, ma'am. And what is that salary? Uh, it's $90,000 a year. She's mad. <laughs> <laughs> he makes millions. You have any idea what... Well, here's the thing. When he gets paid that salary, that's the taxable income. If there's commissions or other things, they're not going to look at that. And a lot of the times, when people are getting revenue from a company or, or from a business, they're putting a lot of that money back into the business, which she probably doesn't realize that. Kind of income that business generates? Um, if you, I would guess probably three to five million. Welcome. Once again, how much of that goes back into wages? How much of that goes back into the business? She probably ain't thinking about that at all. Back everyone. In today's video, we will be taking a look at a woman who tries to abuse the court system by attempting to make a full-time income off her children Stupid. by taking advantage of her ex-husband. Aubrey and Adeline Birch, um, Miss Bobby Joe Carpenter and Mr. Joshua Birch, please raise your right hands. Bobby Joe. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. You can both put your hands down. Okay. How old are your children? They are 12 and 14. Okay. Okay. And the current order in your case from 2017 has the child support set at $1,925. Is that correct? Yes. That's quite okay. A bit. And Mr. Birch was also. Two grand for two teenagers? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think that's enough money? Not enough? I think two grand for two teenagers is a pretty good amount of money. In order to carry the um, health insurance for the children in that order? Yes, which okay. is what I asked, which that has been, I guess, resolved and not a part of this. That was my okay. priority. Now, yeah, we'll, is... we'll, address, we'll address that okay. here in a second. Remember. She More. already gets $23,000 a year in child support. That's a lot. Yet she still wants more. This woman does not want support. She wants a slave and is trying everything she can to take advantage of her ex-husband. But luckily for him, the judge is having none of it and shuts her down, as we will see in the forthcoming footage. Love it. Um, do you know if, um, do you know where Mr. Birch works? He works at East Texas Truck Center. Okay. Um, does he, do you know how much, or how long has he done that? Uh, I really don't know. I mean, it's been several years now that he's owned it. Dude, truckers can make a lot of money. Shout out to all the truckers that watch. I appreciate you guys, man. Keeping the shelves stocked, keeping the food in the stores. I would probably guess, if I was to guess, probably five to seven years. Okay. And you said that he owns that business? Yes. He also owns other businesses as well. Um, I'm not really fully aware of what all this. Bro, you know he got bags when he got the big safe in the back. My man's got bags. Good on him, though. This is that he does own. Okay. Um, but I do know for a fact he does own East Texas Truck Center, and he does have a business in uh, Nacogdoches and a business in um, Baytown. Okay. Is the East Truck, uh, East Texas Truck Center, that is that his main source of income? Look at the yeah. judge. <laughs> he's like, I'm not having none of this. Okay. And you said that he's the owner of that business? Yes, that's correct. Um, do you have any idea what kind of income that business generates? Um, if you, I would guess probably three to five million. I did uh, um, submit, and I'm not sure if you received it yesterday. Um, I did get online and look at the appraisal districts for his property values. Um, did you receive that? Wow. Um, I did receive it. Okay. What a devious woman. She's going out and looking at this man's appraisals for his home. Oh my God. You're a single mom. She's a single mom. She's got to write it out now. Good Lord. So as far as his property values, which like I said, I, I can't state as to far as his revenue because it is an LLC and the docu or the um, financial information is not available. Thank but I goodness. will say, like as far as property owned in Baytown, um, per the appraisal district, it's 1.1 million. Um, in Nacogdoches, he owns five properties, three of which were just acquired you, in December 15, 2021. Judge, he's like, I'm not having none of this. All you're doing is he's just like straight up. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Stop. Yes. Ms. Simone, I need you to ask questions. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, sorry. Okay, you said that he owns other businesses. Do you know what the businesses are? 
or what the business, um, what the name of the businesses are. Here's what I don't get. Here's what's so sus to me. Why aren't they asking him? Why are they asking her? Ask him what businesses he owns. Um, I can, uh, if you look at his LinkedIn accounts. Oh, I don't have that available. Sorry. Okay, I'm pulling it up right now. She doesn't even know the name of the businesses yet. Oh. Still wants a cut. Do from your them. homework, honey. She did none of the work, but Stupid. wants to reap the rewards simply because they had kids together. Mm -hmm. This behavior is truly disgusting. Thankfully, Judge Webster is going to shut her down before she even gets the I chance love it, dude. to play him. So, Ms. Carpenter, this information that you're about to give me is something that you're looking up from somewhere else? Uh, the business is owned is um, no, just okay. from it's his LinkedIn friend. account, Not President. You don't know this information personally. This is just information that you're searching on the internet for. Uh, and also, my my 14 year old has told me as well. Okay, so you can't use that information. Okay. You all miss Simone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, <laughs> pass the witness. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if you can find somebody that actually has direct knowledge of what it is that you're trying to do here. Savage. I will call Mr. Birch. W Judge, dude. Uh, Mr. Birch, would you state your full name for the court, please? Joshua Paul Birch. Okay. And you're the father of Aubrey and Adeline Birch? That is correct. Okay. And are you currently covering the children on your health insurance? Yes, ma'am, I am. He's paying okay. for that. Can you give me the cost of that? Um, $315.97 per month per child through Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay. So six thirty-one ninety-four. Savage. Love mm. it. So he's paying 630 bucks a month plus 1900 to yo dusty butt. Good Lord. All right. And um, where do you currently work? East Texas Truck Center. Okay. And are you the owner of that business? I'm a minority owner in that business. Okay. Are you paid a salary? I am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what is that salary? Uh, it's ninety thousand dollars a year. Okay. <laughs> She's so mad. <laughs> um, do you own any other, or do you own any other businesses besides the um, East Texas Trucking Center? So I'm a minority owner in East Texas Truck Center Inc., okay. which is not a which is not a LLC, so and cool. I'm a minority owner in East Texas Truck Center Baytown LLC. I'm a minority owner in Keystone Financial, LLC, and I'm a, a um, majority owner in Cornerstone, LLC. Good on him. Do you receive any other type of um, revenue from East uh, Texas Truck Center besides your salary? No, ma'am. Unless there's a dividend given, but we haven't given dividends. Okay. Um, do you make any income from the Keystone Financial? Uh, no, ma'am. There's no salaries or dividends given from that either. It's a startup company. And do you make any income um, from Cornerstone Financial? Uh, no, ma'am. Same thing. It was also established uh, last year. Okay. And was you said Keystone? When was that established? Uh, Keystone was actually established in 2000. I thought you said Keystone the first time. My yeah, I did. I did. I'm sorry. Uh, Keystone was established in 2018. Okay. I'm a minority there as well. And you have not received any income from Keystone uh, to the state. No, ma'am. Okay. Um. I'm honestly thinking there's a certain definition when it comes to the word income. I need to learn more about the law, but I'm pretty sure he's probably making some revenue, but not income. Does somebody back there want a freaking bone? So today we have dentist sticks. These are good for his teeth. Free. Wait. Free. Go to your place. Good boy. And I got an elevated bed for you guys. You guys were talking about, we can't see him. So I went and bought an elevated bed so you guys can actually see him eat his treats now. So let's get back into this. I'll go ahead and pass the witness. Are oh, your next witness? I have no further witnesses. The state ref? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Judge is smiling. He knows what's coming. Denied. 
Uh, Mr. Birch, uh, Ms. Carpenter, um, I've just denied the state's motion to adjust the child support in this case. They have to put on evidence to show me that there's some kind of change in income. And I heard nothing that leads me to believe that there's been a change. Um, so uh, the state not meeting its burden uh, is therefore the motion is denied. If any part is satisfied. No, that's OK. I don't need to hear anything. I'm not sure there was an answer, the new order or the old order. I'm denying the state's. There's there's no new order, Mr. Birch. Yes, sir. Uh, you and Miss Carpenter and the state were not able to come to an agreement, and so yes, sir. a lawsuit was filed before me to see if the child support needs to be adjusted. The laws in this state are very simple. The state or whoever it is that's moving, asking me to adjust the child support, has to prove what your old income was, where it came from, and the circumstances behind it and then compare it to the new information that you have. And I find that the state has completely and utterly failed to do that. They haven't proven anything to me. Facts. Um, they've thrown out some stuff, but nothing with any concrete or significant basis. And therefore I'm denying the motion because they haven't met their burden of proof. They haven't proven to me that they've you love to see it, man. So I wanted to get into the actual deets of like what it is when it comes to child support, like what it actually takes. So in Texas, child support is calculated using a percentage based model that considers the number of children and the non custodial parents net resources. One child, 20 percent, two children, 25 percent, three children. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so the thing is, these women could go out there and have four baby daddies and make more hypothetically, than a woman that has four kids with the same man, which is crazy to think. And I also think there's a law, I'm not too sure, but I think there's a law that states that if you have more than like 10 children, you don't even have to pay child support, which is absolutely crazy to me. I wanted to pull up another video just to kind of display the entitlement that some of these women have. This is on one of those shows, those 20 V1s or whatever, or like those um, balloon popping shows. You probably, guys have probably seen them, but like the level of delusion this woman has, she has multiple baby daddies and next this man because it's jeans are too tight let's get into it for brian. hey brian i love the way you speak but for me it was the pants i don't like the pants too tight i'm kind of ghetto too, let me know in the so. comments are his pants too tight i think they're just fitted i don't think there's anything wrong with that so i like them a little loose and uh, that was just it for me how old are you 34 34 mm -hmm. how many kids you got i got three you got three yep. how many baby daddies i have three how you gonna have multiple baby daddies and be this delulu in this picky <laughs> honey look at you wearing a curtain drape shots fired shots fired what is this 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 is the stuff you see hanging off the windows at a hookah lounge shots fired shots fired <laughs> honey who are you talking about you got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Mm -hmm. Cause it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. There's no man in my life. No man in your life? No. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Um. Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. Look at that. No accountability. You can't make this stuff up. So what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? something only god knows or is there something wrong with you possibly but i think i'm just fine they all think they're just fine don't they think you're just fine as well thank you right but to say that a 41 year old man is disqualified because of his pants you're 41 i'll be 41 in september okay because i was like i thought you said 40. i'll be 41 in september that's coming up it's i like it it's okay for you it's not my style mm. You know, with everything going on. I would have been like, you know what's not my style? Three kids by three different baby daddies. Shots fired! Shots fired! You know what's not my style? Single moms. You a single mom? That's what I would have said. He's being so nice. I like the pants to be a little baggy, that's all. Where you from, love? Kansas City. She likes the pants to be a little baggy. Don't you think you have a problem with the men that you pick right now? Don't you think maybe you shouldn't go for the baggy pants? Maybe you think you should go for the fitted pants since you have three failed relationships? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I would rather eat a denim jacket with a plastic fork and knife than go after one of these women. <laughs> Baby mamas. 
Let's go out over here. We can have your name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so uh -oh. having to check in with somebody like they are my parents. She's a runner, she's a track star. Free-spirited, that's what that means. Parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. What do you mean, check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. Big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. What do you subscribe to? Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For yes. what company? Or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. A TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids do you have? I have two. Oh, he already, he already knew it. <laughs> he already knew it. <laughs> two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Stupid. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got That's pregnant, definitely right. That's more here or there. That's yeah, not what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. Go back here. Okay, we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? <laughs> doing amazing. 37? Uh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county and I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay. All right. and now These baby is killing y'all <laughs> and the thighs don't match. Stop getting on this plastic surgery. Just hit the gym, ladies. You end up popping your balloon. So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken. But the question of, I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many baby daddies you got? And then, you know, it's it just. That's He's just throwing that. rocks. And if it hits you, holla. If you're triggered by that, it means there's something intrinsically going on where you're getting triggered. Those are your emotions. Control them. That matter, you say future. So that's they past. It's not they future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter. She's 19. Do you want more? I do. You came with a big back 37-year-old. I'm just saying. My balloon still popped because I don't want any more. Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you choose not to have any more. I choose not to have any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. Okay. Yeah. Well, the reason for me asking their past about their baby daddies is because it lets me know where they're going in their future. If you didn't, didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is their past that don't determine their future? Not, because not, I mean, I'm sorry, but the past is the indication of what's going to happen in the future. Loki, go to your place. They want to see you. Go to your place. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think a woman's past is an indication of her future? Personally, I think so, and here is why. If I can see the decisions that you've made in the past, it's almost gonna be a good precursor to tell me the way you think, the way you move, how you judge people, and how you come to a level of understanding with the decisions that you make in your life. More than likely, there's still gonna be an inkling of the way you used to think to the way you think today. People progress, yes, but a lot of women don't like to progress as much as men. They don't like accountability. Accountability is a plague. With a lot of these women, none of them said, I was the problem, I made a bad decision, I should have looked at a different man, I should have done things differently. They all said, I think they're the problem, it's these men. So I really don't think you've grown from that. I really don't think you've changed from that. I'm not saying all baby mamas are like this, but when you got three baby daddies from three, uh, when you got three babies from three baby daddies, Good Lord, honey, you gotta eventually think maybe it's me. Maybe it is me. You gotta take accountability for that. But these older women, the older they get, the more entitled they get, and they think that oh, I already have kids. I don't want to have to to have these kids. And the thing is, the men that these women are competing with, they're competing with every other woman because if he qualifies for you, he probably qualifies for other women. And why wouldn't a guy that's worked his tushy off? Tushy. <laughs> Why wouldn't the guy that's worked his butt off go get a younger woman who has less trauma, doesn't have kids, less baggage, and can get on his program? Why would he go after a 37 to 45 year old woman with kids that doesn't want to have kids that's argumentative, combative, and doesn't take accountability? What, what is that? What level of delusion are we on? 
It's crazy to me. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to cop the ebook. It is in the description. The four pillars of personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. You can book a one-on-one -on -one call with me if you would like. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will... Loki, say bye. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Peace.